Okay, so it is the second week of my bulk. I've been bulking now for seven days. First day was a bit of a challenge, as I mentioned in my previous video. But yeah, for the past week, I've, I've been getting, uh, it's been getting easier to get the food down. I feel like my, my energy in the gym is, has really gone up and my strength's slightly increasing as well, so that's good. So yeah, so in this video, I want to talk about how I go about planning my day particularly how I use the tracking app my fitness pal now there are other apps available I, I do need to make that clear I'm not an affiliate for my fitness pal or anything there are other tracking apps available but for me I personally use my fitness pal so for the purpose of demonstration this is what I'm going to be using in this video so I'm going to show you that a little bit later in the video before doing that um, I need to have some breakfast I need to get some steps in I normally get around about 5,000 to 10,000 steps a day so let's get into it Okay, so that is breakfast done. I think there was about 1200 calories in that breakfast. Yeah, so it was pretty high calorie. I did decide to cut my eggs in the uh, microwave today. I'm feeling pretty lazy. No, God, please, no, no! Yeah, so uh, feel free to uh, rip on me in the comments for that. Yeah, I'm gonna get out now and get some steps in. First day in a while since it's not been raining. Um, so I wanna sort of get out and get a bit of exercise in today. Yeah, so let's go and do that. Okay, I'm uh, back from walking, so I've been back about an hour now. Just had a pre-workout snack. As you can see, I'm in the gym, um, my home gym. Um, I'm gonna be doing a chest workout today. I'm gonna try and uh, get a PB on the bench press. So the barbell that I've got in my um, gym, it's only 15 kilos, because a full Olympic bar wouldn't have fit in the width of the room. So I've had to go for a slightly smaller one, a 15 kilo one. 75 kilos is what my my current PB is. I'm gonna try and get 80 if I can. But yeah, before I do that, I'm gonna do a, a warm up set um, and then sort of lead, lead up to it and see if I can get a one rep max and around about 80 kilos. <laughs> So this is 80 kilos. I've never lifted this one before. Let's give it a go. That was actually quite easy, actually. It was a bit easier than I thought it would be. So I'm gonna try to see if I can go a little bit heavier than that. I'm gonna try for 85 and see how we go. Did it. I mean, a couple of weeks ago when I was obviously cutting, I was struggling to even lift 75 kilo. So to say that I've been able to lift a one, mat, a one rep on 85 kilos, I'm pretty impressed with that. So I'm gonna drop the weight back down and we're gonna continue with the, with the chest session. Uh. 
so it's the evening time now I finished the gym about four hours ago after my gym session I had um, my next meal which was 150 grams of whole wheat pasta 200 grams of tomato and chili pasta sauce uh, and then I had a tin of tuna in there as well to get the protein in I'm just about to start planning my meals for tomorrow as I mentioned to you at the beginning of this video I'm gonna show you how I go about planning my meals I normally do this in the morning time but for the purpose of this video I'm gonna sort of plan this tonight and, and run you through it but before doing that I just want to have my last meal of the day which is gonna be an evening snack um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the final meal of the day that I'm having. I'm going to have a bagel with low fat cream cheese on that with an apple. And then I've got for the treat after that 100 grams of Cocoa Pops, 200 milliliters of milk. I'm not going to film myself eating this, I know you've probably seen enough of that in the last video. So I'm going to jump onto my computer now and show you how I'm going to go about planning my day for tomorrow. Okay, so I'm in the desktop version of MyFitnessPal. As I mentioned to you at the beginning of this video, there are other tracking apps available um, to use. But the one that I use is MyFitnessPal and that's what I'm going to be using to sort of demonstrate how I'm sort of planning my day. So I'm in the food section of the desktop version and I've got tomorrow selected and if I scroll down to the bottom this will tell me the amount of calories that I've got planned for the day so this is my goal that I've set in my fitness pal so I'm, I'm aiming for about 3200 calories a day 436 grams of carbs 70 grams of fat and 198 grams of protein and then what I do is I just go through these meals and add what I'm going to be eating throughout the day I already sort of have an idea in mind what I'm going to be having so for the purpose of speeding this video up, I'm going to sort of fast forward to when these meals have actually been entered in here. And then I'm going to sort of show you what I sort of do to tweak it to make sure that it hits my macros for the day. Okay, so I've entered all my food that I'm planning to have for the day. I'm not going to run through everything because there's quite a few different items. But if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see that I'm almost at my calories. There's 115 calories left. But I can see from this that my protein is almost there. So I'm one gram off my protein which is great so that's that's exactly where I need to be my fats again I'm under my fats by about five grams I tend to aim to sort of be within sort of five to ten grams within these sort of macro limits um, but I can see that I'm down by 26 grams on my carbohydrates and I've still got 115 calories left to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through these meals and I'm going to take a look at my carbohydrates and see what I can increase to sort of hit those macros for the day. I can see that with meal two, I've currently got 250 grams of new potatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust this to 300 grams. And then I'm going to take a look at where I'm at there. And you can see I'm still about 18 grams under and I've still got 78 calories remaining. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it ever so slightly. Again, we've got 300 grams of potatoes. Let's move this to 350 grams. See where that leaves us. Okay, so I'm now only 7 grams underneath. As I said, my target is around about between 5 and 10 grams. I could go a little bit further and adjust a little few of the other items if I wanted to. But I'm happy at 429. And I can see now that I'm hitting my daily target. Um, I know I'm hitting all my macros there or thereabouts. 
And I know exactly what I'm going to be eating tomorrow now. One mistake I, I made in the past, as I've mentioned in a previous video, is, is trying to enter meals on the fly as the day goes on. It's very difficult to sort of keep in line with your macros for the day if you do that. So if you're not actually planning your head a day, I do recommend starting to do that. I mean, it does only take about five to 10 minutes in the morning or, or in the evening. So I hope this video has been interesting to you. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments below, do you plan your meals ahead of time or do you kind of just enter them in on the fly? I'd love to know. I'll see you on the next one.